Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm really excited to do. It's going to be a try to get ready with me, getting this look right here. I'm also really excited because today's video is a collaboration. I am collabing with my friend Jamie from The Glam Latte. I enjoy Jamie so much. I was actually a guest on her podcast. She was the first guest that was on my podcast, which is Start Inspired. I've had such a good time getting to know her. She has a fantastic YouTube channel, a wonderful Instagram. Like I said, we've both are uh, a little bit newer to the podcasting world. I'm definitely very new, uh, but she has a great one over there and I really enjoy listening to her topics. I will have her channel linked down below, her Instagram, her podcast, and all of that. Uh, please make sure to go check her out. I just think that she is such a kind person. She really helped me out a lot with starting my own podcast. I had a lot of questions along the way and she gave no hesitation to help me out. And I think that that is just so amazing. I think that she has really awesome some videos too so again please make sure to check out her youtube channel and send her some love so today we are doing uh we're answering questions in this uh 40 like makeup and beauty questions that jamie found i will have the questions down below in case you want to do a video where you answer them i decided to do it chatty get ready with me style because i have some new makeup that i'm excited to play with the tati beauty eyeshadow palette a loose highlighter from jacqueline cosmetics and also a special lip that my friend mel thompson did in collaboration with christian odette i have some new brushes also from milk makeup so i wanted to try out some of these new products and i thought that could be today's topic was to answer these 40 beauty questions so I'm excited to see how Jamie answers some of these questions. Some are a little bit tougher than others, but if you want to see how I got this look while we chat about makeup and beauty, why don't we go ahead and get started. Hello. Okay, jumping into it. So I've been trying out these uh, like serums from Farsali. I bought the skin goal set that had four different ones. I'm going to use the Skin Tune Blur today. I've actually really been liking this one and also the unicorn essence one it comes out kind of pink i've been really liking both of those i feel like it does a good job of kind of blurring out some of the pores especially like here and here uh and then it just almost kind of gives your skin just like a little bit of a grab to keep your foundation on but it's not really sticky it's not overly tacky or anything so use my nars natural radiant Longwear foundation i just did a video recently revisiting my 2018 best of beauty video so i will link that down below if you haven't seen it yet i talk about are they still my favorites am i not using them anymore do i still have them and i mentioned this nars foundation and i was like i just don't really reach for it anymore like i still enjoy the foundation but i feel like so many foundations came out especially the second half of 2019 that i just barely reached for it i used it yesterday and i was like why did i stop using this foundation like my skin looked great and i have a lot going on with my skin right now clearly so i have a fresh ofra sponge always nice to use a fresh old sponge here uh, and i still just like the coverage and the feel of it and it's not too heavy or anything like that it doesn't make me look too foundation-y but still really gives me that nice coverage so i was like you know what i am bringing it back out so that's what i was doing it was really fun to revisit that video but for today's topic i'm really excited to answer these questions so like i said in the intro this is a collab with jamie from glam latte I'm kind of brainstorming some ideas and i thought this just kind of seemed like a fun one just kind of chill and laid back something that i could easily do my makeup to without i don't know i feel like a lot of my chatty videos recently i'm either like getting fired up or i have like something really like deeper to talk about i'm like let's just chill out and just chat about makeup and beauty and skincare and i don't know just just relax you know it's holiday time things are getting stressful over here so question number one okay so these are going to be skincare questions first first one is how many times do you wash your face daily typically it's two normally i wash my face in the morning i have my am skincare routine and then i also take my makeup off at night and wash my skin. The next question was, what is your skin type? Dry, oily, combo, that sort of thing. If you guys have been watching me the past <laughs> couple weeks here, I've been saying that my skin is kind of really throwing me through a loop. Um, I used to be extremely dry, like for years I've had really, really dry skin, and especially in the winter, I live in Iowa, I'm looking outside at snow, 
roads were actually pretty icy this morning that was not a lot of fun uh and so especially in the winter time even more i'm very very dry but my skin has been changing to a little bit more oily a little bit more combo uh, i used to have very sensitive skin also but i wasn't really very acne prone just the chicken sandwich and fries and a chocolate shake yeah okay sorry my husband called to get my lunch order apparently he's coming home for lunch today but in changing a little bit right now throw me through a bit of a loop next question is what is your current facial wash okay uh first of all i'm going to use this concealer from charlotte tilbury so this is the magic vanish corrector so i've used it as a concealer a couple times it says it can be a color corrector to help neutralize and smooth under eye and face to help conceal pigmentation and also brighten skin so i have the shade one fair this was sent to me from charlotte tilbury so it just looks like this and again i have used it and I really did like it so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this and I'm using some brushes from the uh, milk makeup and Sephora collection I had a subscriber send these over to me and I was so excited about it so today is my first time using them I thought I could use them on camera but they do have a concealer brush and rotate through a few and I use something different for the morning and for the the p.m. Uh, but typically for the morning, I'm either using the Ofra Cosmetics uh, Peptide Cleanser. I'll go ahead and link that one down below. That makes a, like, a really big difference with the concealer. The snow was so bright, it's kind of hard for me to, to look outside, I'm not going to lie. But I think, I think that looks really good. So I use that one or the Dermalogica um, Cleansing Gel. I've been using that one for years. I've gone through maybe like two of the full size ones i have a mini i just also posted a what's in my travel makeup and skincare bag and there was a mini of the uh, special cleansing gel in there from from dermalogica so i really like that one so those are the two that i'm kind of rotating back and forth from next question is do you exfoliate and then what brand do you use yes i definitely do exfoliate i did say that i have sensitive skin i can't i don't want to like overly exfoliate it's not something that i do every single night uh but i do use the drunk elephant baby facial uh, i really do like that one um or dermalogica has their daily super foliant it's kind of like a powder that you mix with water and that's a really nice a gentle exfoliator the question was do you moisturize and yes I definitely moisturize that's like one of my favorite things to do moisturizer that I've been trying out that I purchased recently is from Murad it's their like water charged gel water or something along those lines uh, I got it in a set from Murad I hauled it in a recent Sephora haul I also really like the uh, Ula Hendrickson um, oh did I just get that in my hair hopefully not the Ula Hendrickson uh, Banana Bright Moisturizer. I think that is a really good one. And I also really like the Olay uh, Whips Moisturizer. I've gone through a couple of those. The kind of like the regular ones and then the ones with SPF. I use that a lot in the summer. The question is, do you have freckles? Uh, not no not really um sometimes in the sun like literally looking like wait do i sometimes in the summer when i'm in the sun a bit more i get like really light freckling on my skin and like my shoulders but not very often um next one is do you use eye cream i definitely do i've always like i pretty much have always been a really big fan of eye cream uh, i'm going to use i know it had a brush for cream in here this one is, it says for cream sticks from the Milk Makeup Set. I'm using my uh, cream bronzer from Oma Beauty. I use a sponge, but I really wanted to use this brush, so I thought that they would work well together. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I've, I've kind of always used an eye cream. My grandmother always did, and I learned a lot about, like, skincare and just, like, taking care of my skin from her, and she always recommended it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's because when she was, like, teaching me about it, she was in her 60s and 70s and an eye cream was important to her but I always kind of took that away so I've been using eye cream for quite some time um some of my favorites I'm just about out of the belief eye balm I really do like that one it's nice and hydrating again the Willa Hendrickson banana bright eye cream I just got a new one of that I think that's a really good one 
Uh, Dermalogica again has a nice one. The it's called like the stress eye stress lift or something like that. I can never remember the proper name on that one, and I've gone through a full size of it, but for some reason I can never remember that. And then uh, once again, Olay has their deep hydrating eye gel i think is what it's called that's another really good one and one that i've gone through multiples of but i use an eye cream in the morning and then also in the evening the question is do you or did you have acne prone skin uh yes right now i would say that i have acne prone skin i've also gone through periods of being uh, really acne prone a lot of times it it goes like it kind of settles down to uh what medications i'm on so not to get too much or too deep into anything, but sometimes when I have a change in medication, um, it can actually affect my skin. So there's that. Um, the next question was, have you ever used Proactive? Which Proactive was, or is, I mean, it's still around. Um, it's just like an acne company and they would always have a ton of commercials with like celebrities saying like how amazing their skin is with using proactive and yeah i actually did i can remember uh, in college or i think it was right after college i want to say i was around 21 and i was just really struggling with my skin again i was struggling finding like medication balance and all this other stuff was going on so i actually did order proactive and it did nothing for me so that was a bummer but i but i have you have used it okay, so that was everything for the skincare questions moving over to makeup questions first one is what foundation do you use and how about concealer i mean that's like all over the board for me i i mean obviously with one of my jobs being a youtuber i'm kind of constantly trying out new things um sometimes i have new favorites i mean like i mentioned with the snars one that was a favorite from last year and I still really enjoy it. I still think that it's really nice. So being ready to put together my best of beauty for 2019 and I'll definitely have a lot of foundations to chat about. Again, there was a lot released towards the end of the year. So definitely will have a lot to say on foundations. And then concealers is just kind of the same thing. I love to try out new foundations and concealers. I like to try out new complexion products and you know see what I can find and all of that. But I don't know, that's kind of a hard question to answer since I rotate and try so many new products took a quick break my husband came home with lunch so i'm enjoying a chocolate shake it is uh, i think one degree outside right now but a chocolate shake sounded like a good idea the next question is do you know your undertone color uh i usually just go with neutral or cool it took me a while to figure that out quite honestly. Uh, and then the next question was, what do I think of fake lashes? So I have loved fake lashes for a very long time. Like I would wear them in high school. I would wear them to like all the college parties, started YouTube. I loved wearing lashes and I felt like this was finally a place where I could wear them because sometimes I'd get like made fun of at parties or just like out and about like People would make fun that I always wore lashes and they were usually very dramatic lashes, but I was like, whatever, I like them. So when I started YouTube, I was just thinking this is a good place for me to wear a fake lashes and I did in almost every single video. I don't wear them this, this year really, probably towards like the early 2019, I started to just kind of stop, just go for mascaras more. I noticed my eyes getting irritated more when I would wear lashes. I tried switching up different lash glues and all of that, but I find that some days after I wear fake lashes, my eyes are just kind of more red and irritated. Uh, so yeah, I just haven't been wearing them as as much lately, but I still like them and I still think that they can, you know, amp up a look. Blush, I'm really excited because Milani actually sent me over some blushes. Uh, I told them that I was interested in trying some of their new baked blush shades. So they sent over Bella Bellini and also Berry Amore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch both of these and see which one might be best on me. So this one is Bella Bellini. It has a little bit of like orange and pink. It kind of reminds me a little bit off the bat of Flower Child from Becca. And I think those blushes might be getting discontinued. And then the other one is the Berry Amore. I might do the Berry Amore. This is kind of peculiar. The, the packaging 
came apart. Huh, I wonder if I can like try to pop this back in. I've owned a lot of Milani blushes in my life and that has actually <laughs> never happened. I can't get that back in, so I don't know what to do there. Hmm, that's interesting. I've, like I said, I've never had that happen before and I've been purchasing Milani blushes for quite some time, kind of like some of my original YouTube made me buy it blushes, but I don't know if it's gonna last very well if it doesn't have that cap on there, so hmm, interesting. But this looks like a pretty shade. Nice and glowy. Question is, did you know that you are supposed to change your mascara every three months? Yes. Do I? Not usually. What brand of mascara do you use? Again, kind of hard because I do tend to rotate them. Is it Sephora or MAC? I would definitely say Sephora. Obviously, there's a lot of retailers there. Good points and all of that. But I was actually never... A Mac girl. I remember first starting to watch YouTube in like 2012 2013 is when I found beauty youtubers and everyone would always have so much Mac and recommend so many products from Mac and The first time I ever went into a Mac store was to find something that Carly Bible Recommended other than that. I just I don't know like I'd go to Sephora and Ulta and I'd go Wander Walgreens and CVS and the beauty aisles and all of that, but I was never really a, a Mac girl Which is funny because the brow pencil I'm gonna use is from Mac. This is one of their shape and shade brow tints This is in fling. I mentioned this also in my 18 favorites and makeup tools. Do you use in makeup application? mostly a, a makeup sponge for complexion products otherwise I do enjoy my brushes for eye products and, and things like that. I don't typically use my finger. I actually really don't like using my fingers to apply makeup. It's been a thing of mine for quite some time. I do my brows off camera because it's kind of hard. This, you know, this is the side with the like pen over here and it's really hard for me to talk and do my brows. So I figured we can just speed things along, do these off camera, then I'll come back. But I did my brows on camera in last week's Get Ready With Me. You're super curious. Okay, so my brows are done. I also did spray my face with the Morphe setting spray before I jump in to my eyes. And I'm now sitting in front of the window. And I can see that it's snowing again. It's just lovely. But for the eyes, I'm really excited. I'm going to use the Tati Beauty Textured, Textured Neutrals Volume 1 Eyeshadow Palette. I'm really excited to use this one. Once again, this is going to be my first time in a YouTube video. I do have an, Insta an Instagram tutorial also. I was mostly focusing on this Soothe section right here, which just like screams me. Uh, but I'm really excited to do another look with this one. Tati actually did send this palette over to me. I was very surprised <laughs> to get her DM. Uh, I, I wasn't aware that she has been watching my videos actually for some time and she saw me discussing about her palette and in my first Will I Bite video I was saying that I was really interested in it. There was just all this kind of crazy feedback on that video and the next week I, I said that you know I, I kind of talked myself out of purchasing it because I wasn't in the greatest place with my mental health at the moment and with all of these comments that came in surrounding the palette and Tati, I was like, you know what, I just know that I'm not going to be able to, to take it right now. So I decided not to purchase the palette and Tati reached out and said that she saw that and she just had a really, a, a lot of really nice words and very kind words and encouraging words to say to me and I was really so appreciative of her and you know she said I, I saw that you had initially said that you did want the palette and I would love to send it to you and she said you know like don't even feel like you need to mention that you got it or use it or you know put it on camera or anything like that like it's just a gift that she wanted to send to me and I thought that was really just so nice I mean that's not something that she had to do she didn't have to reach out to me she didn't have to send me a palette she didn't have to do to do any of that so I was really quite appreciative for that and um, I think that says a lot about her also and since then and we've kind of opened up a conversation she has just been a very very nice person to me and I really value that type of 
quality in a person. So I just wanted to say thank you to Tati. This really does mean a lot to me. I used it the other day. I thought I created a really beautiful look and everything was really easy to play with. I used every single shade in the Soothe line from the matte to the sequin, the metallic, the glitter. I was so surprised at how easy it was to use the glitter, honestly, and how beautiful it looked. It was just like a glitter kind of like unlike that I've ever used in a palette and I got very excited for it. I love the big mirror on it too. Like I just, when I was first talking about it in the Will I Bite video, I said that I was drawn to it because for my kind of like non-visual mind, this is really easy for me to look at and know what to do. I, ha I can kind of struggle with certain palettes and certain color stories and looking at it and being like, I have no idea how to, how to put together a look. And this just lays it out in a very easy way for me. I definitely see a lot of people playing with the glitter from this palette, but especially after using the glitter from yesterday that I used the day before that I'm filming this, I want to use the glitter again because I just felt like it was so simple and, and easy to use. Come in to soothe and the matte shade and I'm using a Moda crease brush here and I'm just going to add that to the crease and blend it in. Next question is do you use a makeup base primer for the eyes? Sometimes I use like an actual eyelid primer. A lot of times I'll just use my concealer like what I did today and I think that it works just fine for me so yeah typically if i'm doing my face first i just use my concealer if i do my eyes first i'll sometimes remember to use an actual eyelid primer it says do you for the face and i do typically always use a face primer or something to or something to get the base going uh one thing i did notice about the palette is that you do get quite a bit of kick up in there but i didn't really notice fallout on to my face even using the glitter and I didn't even use a, a glitter glue or really anything different to apply the glitter with when I was using this for the first time so I thought that was pretty impressive. The matte is also super easy to blend out. I was really impressed with the matte shades for sure. I, I, did, I typically will always use a face primer. I didn't always but now that I have, I just feel like with a really good primer, you can notice a difference, whether it be just like working well with a foundation, using a more mattifying foundation with a more hydrating or moisturizing primer. You can use primers to help the longevity of your makeup. Um, yeah, I'm just, I just prefer to use them now. What is your favorite eyeshadow? It says color or shade, which I think that's kind of like the same thing, but favorite eyeshadow color, um, I do use a lot of browns because I do like neutral looks, so definitely like a brown. But I like to use colors that are also complementary with green eyes, which is purple, like reds, oranges. Uh, I think that those colors work well with green, so I tend to wear them quite a bit. Do you use pencil or liquid eyeliner? Usually pencil, like for the waterline, it's typically a pencil. I don't do winged liner a ton. When I do, then it generally is a liquid liner, but I don't do wings super often. And I like the next one was, how often do you poke your eyes with an eyeliner pencil? It definitely happens. Not, uh, not, as, not as often as I used to, I guess that I, I'll say that. Uh, I'm going to come in to the Poet Row and use the sequin shadow. I'm going to use the Sigma E33. And I think what I want to do with this one is kind of add it to the inner and, and outer corner. It's interesting because I got, I got some feedback, of course, when I was talking about uh, planning to not purchase the palette at the time because, you know, just kind of struggling with my mental health and times that i struggle with mental health it's really hard for me to be in my comment section this day of age you're always making somebody mad someone is always going to have something to disagree with you with it's it's just the way that the world is these days i don't know there's you, you i mean you can't please everybody and the people that you can't please will make sure they are extremely vocal about how you have not pleased them right so just kind of how it is and there are times where I have decided against purchasing a product, a time that I've gone against um, sharing something in a video because I wasn't doing well 
with my mental health and didn't want to didn't want to have to avoid my comment section but I've never said that I never came out and stated it like I did with the Tofty palette but I've been trying to talk about mental health more it's one thing that I really tried to do in 2019 was be more open about it there's been a stigma for a very long time of you know kind of being shamed if you struggle with mental health depression that sort of thing and it's something that I am trying to be vocal about on my channel I know that I've helped a lot of you who have written in messages and emails and all of that so that really keeps me keeps me going of being able to be open about these kind of topics and I was like you know what I'm just gonna say it what was surprising to me the most I think was how many other creators like DM'd me or, or private messaged me to commend me for saying that. A lot of them have said that they have felt the same way at one time or another about a makeup release that they didn't feel like strong enough or like mentally okay enough to talk about something to have to deal with the backlash that they knew would come in their comments but they they didn't say that in their videos and that really meant a lot to me because truly I kind of felt silly saying that and I was like I know people are gonna think I'm just like so dramatic or oh my gosh she's talking about her run a whole again like I, I was very nervous so to have so many creators support me in that that really meant a lot to me and to hear that other people have gone through the same thing made me feel not so alone it made me feel not so kind of like why am I the only one that struggles with this that deals with this but Again, that's that's another reason why I want to try to talk about those topics more because maybe there's another creator out there struggling with it and feeling like they're the only ones that do and then they can hear me hear me say that or hear someone else say that and think, okay, so you know, it's not just me. So that definitely really meant a lot to me. And of course, I got the comment of, why do you do this as your job if you can't handle the comments? And great question I understand where the question is coming from especially if it was someone who was new to my channel and is like okay so this person doesn't review makeup that might be controversial because she can't take the comments like why is she even on YouTube like I I do understand the question but I don't struggle with my mental health every single day there are times where I can be in a depression for weeks and even months and it's horrible um, but there's also a lot of periods where I'm okay right like there are those times and like right now is one of those times I'm not struggling right now with mental health I'm not in a depression which is great very happy about that I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow I could wake up tomorrow and be struggling and it's interesting because I'm actually like sad right now. I'm sad right now about a handful of different things happening in my personal life, in my professional life. There's things that I'm upset with, things that are making me frustrated, but I'm not depressed. You can be sad and not be depressed. And I think as someone who is open with mental health in my personal life in here on YouTube, if I say something like I'm sad or I'm feeling down right now, I immediately get feedback saying, you know, talking about mental health and hoping that I'll get over this depression and all of that and so it's kind of a I try to be careful with my words sometimes because I don't want to mislead anyone I don't want to cause worry to my family or my friends um, and just be just be sad about something but not actually be struggling mentally it's because things are sad in your life or you're going through something hard that doesn't mean you're going to get depressed. I've been depressed when things have been going so well and I've had so much to look forward to because depression doesn't work like that. Depression doesn't happen because something bad happened. You don't get out of a depression because something good happened. It's just not really the way that it works. So it can be a little bit tricky to describe sometimes, but I just thought that I would put that out there. So yes, it can be hard being on YouTube and talking about controversial topics and stuff like that it's why I'll never be able to be a drama channel because I wouldn't be able to take feedback like that not always in kind of a more fragile mental state 
And when I'm not, I'm cool to talk about topics, but when I am, I kind of have to retreat and pull back a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and use the glitter and truly this is how I used it the other day. I'm just using a flat brush. This is from Morphe the G20. I don't think this line is available anymore, but it's a dry brush and I'm just picking up the glitter like so. So we got some glitter on the brush there and then tapping it on my eye. I mean, I didn't use a different primer. I didn't use a glitter glue. I'm not using a wet brush, anything like that. So I'm just gonna take it and start to pat it on the center of my lid. And then just add and repeat. And I was just really so impressed. It's not usually this easy to work with a glitter. And I do get a little, like I have a little bit right here on my face but nothing like I don't know sometimes when I've used glitter from palettes in the past it's like raining glitter <laughs> on your face and I don't experience that with this one which I think is fantastic and it really stayed put throughout the day hopping back into some of these questions here what do I think of pigment eyeshadows I have a few pigments in my collection. I don't play with them super often. I am more of a palette girl. Another question was, what do you think of mineral makeup? I don't, so I'm thinking of like the mineral powders and everything. I don't really wear them a whole ton either. I, I don't think I have like really passionate feelings on them one way or another. Okay, I just added some Pure Rain liner to my waterline that's in my Shop My Stash bag and then I'm going to use the two matte shadows from the Soothe and Poet line on the Sigma E42. So I'm just going to add that to my lower lash line, make it a little smoky like I normally like to. Questions are what is your favorite lipstick and lip gloss? Again, you know kind, kind of rotate through a lot but I'm a big fan of lipsticks I I have a lot of favorite regular lipsticks and also liquid lipsticks I really do like the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks uh, the matte revolution is probably my favorite formula from her lips I really like lawless beauty I really love Ofra cosmetics um, persona has really nice liquid lipsticks and also glosses Ofra has amazing glosses. I love their gloss formula. Fenty has really nice, uh, their gloss bombs are really beautiful also. The question is, what is my favorite blush to use? I, I like more glowy blushes these days. Like I like the Buxom Primer Infused blushes. I do like the Becca blushes, like I referenced Flower Child earlier. For my inner corner, I think I'm gonna use from the Aura Row. I'm gonna use the Metallic. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that's what I'm going to use for my inner corner and then also brow bone highlight. This next question I thought was interesting is, do you buy your makeup on eBay? I have never bought makeup on eBay. Um, I'm not really like an eBay shopper. Like, I mean, really forever, not just makeup, but I don't know if I've ever purchased anything on eBay. It is the look using the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Palette. I'd love to know if you grab this palette and what you're thinking of it. I'm just gonna go ahead and add some mascara. This is from Ciate London, their Wonder Wand Mascara. This next question is, do you like drugstore makeup? I definitely do. Again, did my affordable favorites in 2019 recently. Uh, did I ever consider taking makeup classes? I feel like I definitely did. I I wasn't really very good at doing makeup. I, I mean, I still, I, I don't know if I am. Um, I get comments frequently like, you don't know how to do makeup. And I'm like, oh, well, like, bummer. Once I found YouTube, it was almost kind of like taking a class, watching the tutorials and all of that almost felt like class to me. And I would buy the same products that Carly Bible and Jaclyn Hill and Kathleen Lights and Casey Holmes were recommending to me. I'd go out and buy them and then I would turn their tutorial back on and do it with them. So it was kind of like taking a class. So YouTube really taught me so much about makeup and how to use it and the different tools that are best to use and all of that. So definitely very grateful for that. 
Uh, the eyes are done after we added the mascara, so I'm going to come in with my highlight. And I did get these two items sent over to me from Jaclyn Cosmetics. Uh, I was a little bit surprised. I got a, a DM saying that they wanted to send me something, and I was like, okay. Uh, so they sent over one of their loose highlighters, and this is in the shade Bomb. I've worn it once before, and they also sent over the J03 brush. So this is their little fan brush. I wasn't a huge fan of the brush. I just don't really do the fan brushes a lot and because it's so dense like it's kind of hard to get the placement right to have it not just be like a stamp of highlight on your face but I'm going to try it again and see what I think but um, this is I know that there's a bunch of reviews already on the highlight but this is the packaging and then again this is the bomb highlight. I kind of thought looking at it that it might be a little dark on me but I felt like it looked fine. I mean it definitely is like look at like that is a super beaming highlight the shade is a little bit more golden but again i still thought it worked well on my skin but it's just i don't know it's kind of hard to blend out and to have it look a little bit more natural so i don't know i can kind of place with this brush here and then i would like to take another one to blend it out and I'm going to take the highlight brush that came in that milk makeup set I'm not going to add anything more to it but I'm just going to use that brush to try to blend it out and use some circular motions so it doesn't just look like a stripe of highlight on my face but other than that I thought that it was a nice highlight I don't think that it shows too much texture again it's not too gold for me I use this brush to add a little bit to my nose because when i used the fan brush to apply it to my nose i felt like it was just like wall bam so there is the bomb highlight now i can't remember if it was beam yeah no yeah the bomb highlight from jacqueline cosmetics did you guys order anything from the launch i decided not to order anything i touched on it in a will i bite video just wasn't really feeling it. Loose highlights are not really my thing. They're just a little bit harder to use for me. They're just a little bit more on the messy side and all of that. Um, so it's just not a type of highlight that I tend to go for a lot. And I didn't want to get a palette because I've been trying to avoid highlighting palettes, especially with, you know, that one had four shades. Like just, that's just a little bit much. Um, but you know, I'm very, I'm very grateful that it was sent over. I was, I was very surprised and taken aback to get the message, but excited to have it excited to play with it because are you clumsy in putting on makeup uh, i feel like yes i don't know what type of clumsy like as i'm doing makeup do i fall off my chair yes that has happened i drop makeup a lot this next one is name a makeup crime that you hate that's a hard question you know what i just really don't like when people judge others for the type of makeup that they choose to wear i would say that that's a crime everyone's different everyone has their different preferences of even like shades or how much or how little or how they want to do their brows if they don't want to do their brows do they do like a lot of people get really up in arms about nose highlights like why do we care what other people look like i just can't that's something that i just i don't understand it i think that's just odd so that would be something and I definitely do not appreciate. Do you like color, colorful shades of makeup like lipstick and eyeshadow or neutral ones? I would, I would tend to lean more neutral if I'm being honest here. <laughs> Which celebrity always has great makeup? That's a good question. I feel like I would say like Kim Kardashian because Makeup by Mario is always doing a fabulous job. Jennifer Lopez? Jennifer Lopez always, I feel like she has really beautiful makeup too. I actually, I don't do a lot of celebrity inspired makeup looks, but I did one off her Met Gala look in 2019. I thought her makeup looked absolutely bomb. I'm going to end with my lips and I am super excited to use these lip products. This is the collaboration with my friend Mel Thompson and Christian Odette. So excited about this. Mel Thompson is just one of my favorite people. I think that she is so kind and so supportive. She has so many wonderful videos out there. So much knowledge. I've learned a lot from her. I've bought a lot from her recommendations. I was so excited to see her do this collab. 
So she collabed with Christian Odette and she has two bullet lipsticks, also two lip liners that came out. So I really love the shade Beauty, which is the nude, of course. And also I really like Smooches. This is the darker lip liner. I used that one yesterday with Beauty. So I think I'm gonna use Kitten and Beauty together and see what I think. The other lipstick is an orange and I don't think it would go well with this particular eye look. I know a lot of people have been using these. I got mine a little bit late. Mel actually texted me before the collaboration even went live to get my address and she said she had something special coming up and I was so excited to see what it was and then nothing showed up and nothing showed up and finally I messaged her and I was like I am not like not speaking about your collaboration or not showing it I just haven't received my box yet but as soon as I do I promise I will say something you know I just felt bad I didn't want her to think that I wasn't trying to promote her products or you know anything like that so I finally messaged her I just wanted to let you know and she was like no no problem you know maybe you know just kind of like maybe got lost in the mail the weather was kind of rough and then she actually messaged me back and she said I'm so sorry I checked and somehow your name uh, like hadn't made it on the final list or whatnot and she actually sent these um, to me from herself which I thought was very nice for her. she didn't have to do that I would have just gone and, and bought them myself um, had I known that I just kept waiting because I thought I was gonna get them but it's okay there's just a little snafu but I'm so excited and how sweet is she to still send these over to me I thought that was really so very nice of her first going to line my lips with kitten and then fill them in with beauty and these products are available and you can also purchase them separately on the Christian Odette website so I will definitely have that link down below and congratulations to Mel. This lip liner is a little bit more pinky. It's like a pinky neutral. I could wear this one on its own or maybe with a little bit of gloss, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some beauty on top. Okay, after the lips, that's gonna go ahead and finish off this look for today's chatty get ready with me. I hope that you enjoyed seeing me get this look. And again, everything that I used will be linked down below, but I just have a few questions to finish off these 40 questions with uh, if I could leave the house using just one makeup item what would I use it'd probably be concealer <laughs> love my concealer could I ever leave the house without any makeup on yes I did this morning N not even any concealer on do you think you would look good even without any makeup on do I think I would look good even without any makeup on yeah hello in my opinion what is the best makeup line these questions <laughs> always get to me like you just have to pick one that's so hard i think that there's so many great brands out there and i think that there's great brands out there for different reasons either affordability either for bomb products either for the way that they do business i mean there's just so many amazing brands out there and i'm I'm uh, grateful that YouTube opened my eyes up to so many more brands, more than what I was just being able to find at the drugstore or even just in Sephora. There's been such a boom and so many new brands coming out with the rise of, you know, social media and all of that. And I think that's really cool. There's so many options out there for so many people and YouTubers and makeup, uh, you know, owners alike have been able to have their lives changed because of the day and age of technology that we're in now and the reach that we can do and people can really create their own path because of it and I think that's a really cool thing uh, and then the final question is what do you think of makeup I think makeup's a pretty fun thing I use it these days more to try to be creative even like I say I don't have the most visual mind it can be a challenge for me it can be a creative challenge for me uh, and it's just fun for me to play around. I do think that it also can definitely help um, give confidence to more people, to cover imperfections, to highlight some of your best features. And I think that that's a great thing. Confidence is such a hard thing to find and to hold on to these days. Whatever it is that people can do to have more confidence, whether it be the makeup they wear, um, the clothes that they choose to wear, what you know, whatever it may be, I think that that's a great thing because confidence can be such a hard thing to find but after that those are the 40 questions that both me and Jamie from Glam Latte were answering once again I hope that you enjoyed seeing me get this look here I had a lot of fun doing it I really like the kind of like bolder pink eye with the glitter I don't I think I think that looks really fun I've been having a good time using the Tati palette the Mel Thompson lips so beautiful the Jaclyn Hill highlight <laughs> 
very beaming uh again everything that i used will be linked down below i also really enjoyed these milk and makeup brushes so far the ones that i tried uh, i felt like i was really enjoying them so let me know what your thoughts on some of the questions that I answered, some of the topics that I brought up, products that I used. Make sure to check out Jamie's channel as well. I have her link down below. Her Instagram, her podcast is such a good one. So please make sure to check her out. Other than that though, if you guys did enjoy this video, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video. Bye.